A college professor once told me, Des, you seem goofy, but you ain't dumb. And I have to say, I absolutely second that. <laughs> but behind this goofy personality lies an abundance of flaws, pain, challenges, and resilience. Good evening. My name is Desmond Frazier, and I'm a senior at Sequoia High School. If this is our first encounter, please call me Desi Fresh. <laughs> it's over. I was only two when my parents divorced, and one of my earliest memories was my father yelling this at my mom. For a few years, my dad popped in and out of my life, and at the age of six, he was gone. It was just my mother, my five brothers, and myself. My parents, like every parent in this room, have struggles. Despite their struggles, many parents are still able to support, guide, and love their child. Unfortunately, that wasn't my experience. I can take this opportunity to talk about the things that I missed about not having a father most of my life. But the reality is, I just don't know. What I do know is, my dad missed the opportunity to get to know me. And my mom, she provides physically, but struggles to provide emotionally. But I don't blame my parents for their shortcomings. These shortcomings have contributed a lot to who I am to today. They've taught me how far I can go with resilience and hard work, and to love the process of determining my own future and creating an unforgettable legacy. Like many of you, I've faced adversity in my life, and I've worked hard to overcome the adversity. I've fought through the challenges of homelessness and poverty, sleeping in a car at night, and then putting a smile on my face to hide my pain during my weekly shifts at Starbucks in downtown Palo Alto. I'm proud of how I've been able to overcome these challenges, but last year, last year almost broke me. Last year, I tried protecting my brothers during an encounter with the police and ended up incarcerated at Hillcrest Juvenile Detention Center. I found myself in a small cell with a little light. And from that point on, I believe that that little light was a representation of my future. A little light with just a little hope. Although I was released from juvenile hall, mentally, I remained imprisoned. My GPA plummeted from a 3.0 to a 1.8, and I was failing multiple classes. It was like I was still in that dark cell and had to figure out a way to make that light brighter. And for me, the Boys and Girls Club became that light. When I stepped through those doors, I saw something different. On my first day, I was welcomed with hugs and felt overwhelmingly loved and accepted, a feeling I longed for my whole life. And later, I found a home in Keystone, a BGCP leadership program that focuses on giving back and empowering and spreading positivity to my peers and our community. I went from pursuing from what I thought was my only option, an athletic scholarship, to dedicating myself to Keystone. One of the highlights of Keystone was writing a grant for a campaign focused on giving youth the skills and knowledge they need to pursue their dreams, regardless of their financial or immigration status, called Don't Stop Dreaming. I am now the light 
for other kids who felt like me, to give up rather than trying to find their purpose. With the help of my mentors and tutors at the club, I've been able to raise my GPA from a 1.8 to my highest GPA of 3.6. And this fall, I'll be the first in my family to pursue a bachelor's degree. I was recently accepted to both San Francisco State University and Menlo College. But, <laughs> but my dream is to attend Morehouse College or Howard University to study political science and eventually attain graduate school. I want to serve our community as a civic leader, a mayor, a congressman, a governor, and eventually the president of the United States. <laughs> and my promise is to create a platform for the generations that come after me. On my journey, I'll never forget the times I've had here. The people at BGCP who have invested so much into my future and myself, and those of you standing here tonight for being a part of my community. So remember, never let your circumstances define you, but instead, let them motivate you. And don't forget, Des for Prez for 2036. Thank you. <laughs>